Hey, it's Mary Beth. I am here in Florida, believe it or not, where it's sunny and beautiful and I went to the beach and I am now teaching at Michelle Makasha's place. Everything stamps and scrapbooks and oh, tons of fantastic supplies. I'm just trying to get out of here. Actually, you know, this is my job, so it wouldn't be bad if I could earn a paycheck, but I might spend it on all products because I love it so much. So anyway, Nothing better than walking into my classroom and seeing what's been going on. So I'm going to give you a peek and you can pretend you're here. We've got this massive table where everybody can sit across from each other and we can all enjoy talking as a group and as a community. And this is so cool. Now, a lot of these ladies cleaned up, but look at all the table papers that are here that are just becoming so covered with fantastic things. And look at the collage papers people made yesterday. We did a lot of cool stuff. Oh, and this journal spread. Is that so sweet? in Duralar parts. Oh, the number 27. That's my one of my lucky numbers. Anyway, this is just so cool. And Michelle has got more product in this store than I think I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it is great. I want to just walk around and show you some of the stuff that I really like. This is a new brand to me, this Ink by Jeng. Um, there's these journals and I think it's for people that do planners, which I don't really do, but I love the stuff. Look at this washi tape with these little squares on it. Oh my God. And this little baby stencil for planning. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love. And this task list. I just want to buy the task list. I know, you know, you're probably supposed to use it in your planner, but I think it, I could just use it on my desk because I really like it. Yes. Yes and lots of other products. I'm gonna show you, this box is empty at the moment, but there will be more later. That's the glue that everybody's talking about. Here's one, the Kukoina glue. It smells like almonds. It is divine, just divine. I love it. There are these other things we played with yesterday, these products that are, um, where are they? Oh, here they are. These pigments, eye zinc, they're made in France. I mean, look how many of them have sold already, right? You know, some of these, they're, um, they're really cool. They're an, an acrylic pigment and they're water resistant, but the colors, oh my God, swim, swim, swim. I didn't get this color yet, so I think I might have to get that color. It's really nice. And there's some great, um, Holbein products too. Ooh, wait, I didn't see these. Ooh, <laughs> more things I need to try, right? I also am getting some of these Holbein inks because these are pretty cool and I've never seen these anywhere. So love them very much. All the Dina products, tons of Ranger, great pens. I mean, on and on. Look at all the colors of these little souffles. Isn't that so pretty? And just tons of mixed media goodness in this store along with the scrapbooking supplies and um, Michelle offers online sales too so you can keep that in mind I'm going to link up her store so if you want to consider any of these products you'll know where to go to find them let me just show you the embossing powder department also because of course I love that and she has Seth Seth Apters and Gwen Lafleur's from Emerald Creek which I adore as you know and then these wow embossing powders I haven't used these I'm gonna try them today though because I want to see what they're like there's some really pretty glitzy ones so I guess it, it seems like the um, the glitter must be built into the embossing powder this one is the one I got my eye on, Golden Flame. Ooh la la. Anyway, if you're ever in the Florida area or if you're online and just want to shop Michelle's store, uh-oh, wow trios. Uh-oh, I think I have another thing to add to my bag. Well, you see how it's going here. Anyway, I'll link you up to the details below, and thanks for coming along on another teaching journey with me. 
I thought it would be fun for you guys to see some of the work that my students created. We had a little talk on the last day and everybody shared the, um, the spread that they liked the most and we talked about what people still wanted to learn. And it was just a really wonderful experience all around. I had a great time and I know I'm gonna go back to Florida to teach again because it was a lot of fun. So enjoy looking at the student work and I hope to see you on the road someday soon.